All right, guys, in this video, I'm going to go over toxic backlinks. I'm going to go over what toxic backlinks are, how to find them and what to do about them if you have them. So first off, what is a toxic backlink? So basically toxic backlinks are any type of link that could potentially cause harm to your website. Typically speaking, in terms of rankings, you know, bring like negative SEO, let's say to your site and, and make you drop in rankings, you get penalized, whatever. Typically, they'll come from things like spammy websites, websites with poor backlink profiles. So they themselves have poor backlinks links going to them sites that have been penalized compromised pbns blog comments spam links and links of that nature so this is a basic overview there's a, a larger list of what constitutes a toxic backlink but this is the basic overview of what it would fall under basically it's any site that's poor quality not trustworthy in google's eyes and is not going to do you any favors by pointing to your website so do you even need to worry about toxic backlinks so there's been a lot of back and forth about this over the recent you know a few years and months where by it's mostly agreed upon now that Google mostly ignores bad backlinks going to your website. So it used to be a thing where if you wanted to, let's say, take down a competitor, you could throw a bunch of bad backlinks at their website and it would take them down. However, that's not really the case anymore. Mainly Google just ignores bad backlinks rather than penalizes you for them in most instances. And most websites get a bunch of spam backlinks just naturally by existing anyway. So it's kind of impossible to stay on top of all of them anyway. And I think Google really realizes that however there are instances where they could negatively impact you so for instance if you get links from pbns and the pbns are all connected and then they get compromised and google realizes it's a pbn network what will happen is they'll all go down and they could also take your site down as well because you'll be in that interconnected net and so that's something you'd need to be careful of where that could actually impact you so there are a couple instances where it could impact you, but in most cases, it's not really something you need to worry about that much. However, I'm gonna show you how to find them and what you can do about them anyway. So firstly, how to check if you have a toxic link. So there's two ways to do it, really. One is manual verification. So you go in and actually take a look at these sites and see what they are. And the second one is use a tool like SEMrush, which actually gives you a list of what it thinks are toxic backlinks. So I'll show you both of these. So the first one, what you would do is you go to Google Search Console. And once you're in Google Search Console, you go to links and in here, Google search console is going to give you a list of, you know, the top websites that link to your site. So if you click more, you can get a list of them. And depending on how many links you have, you'll, you'll have some of them and you can go through these one by one, literally open them and see what they are and whether these are actually beneficial to have them linking to your site. So I'll just open up a couple of random ones and let's take a look. This looks like a business directory. So this one could be okay. doesn't look particularly bad at first glance. This one, I don't know what this is and it doesn't even seem to be loading. So that's not off to a good start. This one also doesn't seem to be loading. Let's see what happens. So this one probably is not very good since it's not even loading anyway. This one seems to be doing some funny stuff. This one is relevant to what I've been talking about. So this one we'd want to stay. So this is not a toxic backlink, but basically, so these two would probably be good to get rid of. They're not really beneficial. So you would go through the list and you can take a look at all of them and see what these links actually are and find out if, if there's some kind of like real spammy type site. Let's see if I can find an example. I'll be able to find one in SEMrush. I'll probably show it in a little bit later in the video because there is definitely a few in, I've seen in my SEMrush list that have it. But basically you'd go through them all, see what they look like. Yeah, I mean, like this, like 10 best crypto mining apps for iPhone. This has got nothing to do with my website at all. And I would bet you that this has a very low, like bad links, probably authority score, etc. So that would probably be an example of one. But you'd go down the list, you'd figure out the ones that are not related to your website, probably not doing you any favors, and you can put them in a list. Now, a second thing you can do is go into SEMrush. And what you can do is you can go into the backlink audit, throw your website in, and SEMrush will actually do an audit on your website. Now, on this particular website, it's found a high ratio of toxic backlinks here. I haven't done any cleanup or built any links to the site manually other than a couple of citations. So these all occurred naturally. And this is the sort of thing that can happen, which is exactly why Google probably ignores a lot of them. However, if we go and take a look at it, let's go into the audit. It'll give us what it deems are the toxic backlinks. And so what you can do is you see, we've got here, what is
before so it's giving me the list of all of these links now all these i don't even know what they are i mean quite frankly i'm kind of skeptical to click on them but you can see this this is i don't know what this is it doesn't make any sense why my website would even be on this website and so that's a, an example of something i'd probably disavow because it's got nothing to do with anything so that would be an example of one i personally would get rid of and i'll probably go down this list and get rid of all of them now that brings me to my next point which is what do you do about this? How do you remove these links? So basically the first recommended thing to do is to go and ask the website to remove them. But let's be honest, most of these people are not going to be removing your links. So you're just wasting your time trying to email hundreds of websites to get them removed. That's probably not going to happen. The second one is remove them yourself. If that's possible, in most cases it's not because you probably don't control that website. However, if you made a profile on like a bad directory or something, you might be able to get rid of it. But in most cases you probably won't. So the last one is to go to use the Google disavow tool. Now it's argued whether this works, this doesn't, but you may as well do it. And then it kind of saves you from, you know, you just at least know you tried. So what you do here is you pull your list, whether it's the list from here, or you want to export this one. Let's say we export this list. You can do it manually through Google search console. So what you do is you would go export this file. You would open it, take the list of the URLs, or you can disavow the entire domain if you want to do the whole domain. I mean, quite frankly, in this case, I'd probably just do all the domains. So let's just do that. And what you do is you take the list and you open a notepad, paste them in a notepad and you save this notepad. So you have to go to this URL here. I'm going to put this uh, in the description below because this is actually quite hard to find. But if you go on Google and you type in Google search console disavow tool, you'll find your way to here. But again, I'll put this in the description below. So what you need to do now is you select which website you want to submit the disavow for, select the one you want, and then you now upload that list. So you go, you would select the file you just made and you would upload it. And it's going to show you it's saying incorrect i'm not going to deal with this now but you get the point you would hit okay once it's done and you would upload the file and then that submits it to google that you want to basically acknowledge that you don't want anything to do with these links going to your site and in theory google is now supposed to ignore them whether they do or not is debated but you may as well do it doesn't hurt to do it and then you know you've done what you what you could at least and now the second option you can do this is straight from SEMrush, if you have connected your Google search console straight to SEMrush, there is an option in here as well, where you can just disavow all of them. So what we can theoretically do is if we just tick all of these, and then we could go to, so you can move the group of backlinks to the disavow list. So we can just add them, move it there. And now it'll be here. And now you can export this text file from SEMrush that you can now upload to Google search console. And it even gives you a link here as well to the tool as well. So it just helps you basically streamline the process a little bit that's the idea behind that so that's how you would do that with SEMrush I imagine Ahrefs probably has their own way to do it as well that's the easy way to do that so that's basically it for what you need to know about toxic backlinks I wouldn't necessarily worry too much about them unless something specifically has happened that you think these backlinks are causing you an issue but if you find something like this like on this site that I showed you where it has a very high number of them it doesn't hurt to just go in and disavow them which is what I'm going to do here as well so that's basically it if you don't have a tool like SEMrush I'm going to put my affiliate link in the description below you can get a seven day free trial you could theoretically do this pull out that list and do it for free without having to pay anything you can go and do that if you click that link otherwise if you'd like me to coach you on how to do seo and google ads for only 49 dollars a month go to learndominatemarketing.com and if you'd like us to do seo and google ads for your business or perhaps help you with a backlink issue go to dominatemarketing.io and book a call with us there catch you on the next one